Hello and welcome to the M7 Innovation Brief. I'm your host, Matt Moore, and we've got the latest in media, tech, and innovation. And no, we won't be covering Elon Musk buying Twitter because we need a lot more than 90 seconds for that. But leave a comment below and I can share my thoughts in another format. For now, 90 seconds on the clock, let's go. Let's talk gaming and advertising. Sony is working with ad tech partners to help game developers create in-game ads. This is big. Remember, there are 3.6 billion gamers worldwide, and gaming generates roughly four times the revenue of the global box office at $160 billion a year. Gaming is the future of entertainment. The issue with advertising is it's always a one-off managed deal, a big Madden partnership or Fortnite splashy branded events. The key is giving developers an SDK to create a non-intrusive window into their game where ads can be programmatically served based on context and audience. This is a step towards that future and reaching a highly engaged audience. Instagram would really appreciate it if you stopped posting TikToks to Instagram. Insta will dish out some algorithmic punishment if you don't post original content to IG Reels. Let's go big picture. What Instagram is saying is they will build in a downranking system within their algorithm, one that undoubtedly will rely on many facets of complex AI to help them deprioritize content that didn't originate on their own platform. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? So misinformation, hate speech, toxic content for teen girls, that can get a pass, but TikToks posted to Instagram? That's where we draw the damn line. On a similar tech safety note, let's talk about Apple. Their communication safety and messages feature will automatically blur images that contain nudity sent to children. I share this as a piggyback to the Instagram story to prove that big tech has all the power and capabilities to put up guardrails to protect us if they want to. Apple protecting children is a no-brainer. This is a smart combination of image recognition technology and machine learning that instantly solves a problem. There's so much broken in Web2 that can be fixed, but instead, the biggest tech companies are laser focused on building Web3. Well, that's all the time that we have for the M7 Innovation Brief. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you next week.